Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days in five minutes on this Friday evening. And Weather in Five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri state area with hardware, yard materials, and supplies that you might need in case we ever get a tropical storm or a hurricane move up the East Coast. So head over to Omni 631 756 1125. The best prices you can find anywhere. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. We uh, may have a tropical storm. And if you look in the Southwest Gulf, it's kind of interesting because the weather models are not really picking up on this at all. Uh, But we have uh, disturbed weather that's become better organized. The uh, Hurricane Center has uh, issued potential tropical cyclone advisories on this uh, system uh, as it's moving north-northwestward and probably uh, going to make landfall somewhere in northeastern New Mexico near the border of South Texas uh, over the weekend. And that will probably bring some heavy rains to South Texas where they've had some uh, dry uh, is- dry weather issues, although they had a tropical disturbance moved in earlier this week. Uh, the uh, guidance, uh, as we take a look from the uh, spaghetti plots, uh, you can see that the models are all pretty tightly clustered here as they move Uh, this system up to the northwest. Uh, Potentially this could be Tropical Storm Danielle and uh, it will move inland sometime probably on Sunday or Saturday evening. Uh, This is uh, from 18Z from 2 o'clock this afternoon. These are the positions uh, at uh, 2 o'clock for tomorrow afternoon right here and then landfall sometime Saturday night early Sunday morning right along that area in uh, northeastern parts of Mexico. Uh, The uh, intensity guidance is also not really showing very much with this. Uh, Only one model, actually two of them make this a tropical storm. One of them keeps it in the Gulf for a long time. We think that's unrealistic. Uh, We think this is going to catch up. The models don't just seem not to have a good handle on this. Uh, The Hurricane Center on their uh, forecast track for potential tropical cyclone four uh, is it becoming a tropical storm sometime tonight and then continuing uh, northwestward. You can see there's tropical storm warnings up uh, from uh, south of Corpus Christi down to about Brownsville and continuing along the northeast coast of uh, Mexico. Maybe has a chance to get to a 40 or 45 knot type tropical storm, but you got to be careful sometimes with these systems in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, They can surprise to the upside, and being that uh, it's surprised so far, surprised so far, uh, we're going to lean to the idea that maybe this thing will outperform. In the meantime, the rest of the tropics are still very quiet. It's just a mess out here uh, in the in the Atlantic. You have a lot of dry air that's being funneled southward from Western Europe down the coast uh, into western Africa, picking up Saharan dust and a lot of dry air that's pushed all the way southward. You see where all the cloud development is. It's south of 10 degrees north. Now, this is forecast to change uh, in the next week or so. Uh, The models are picking up on maybe the possibility of some activity uh, developing uh, late in the month. So we'll take a look at that over the weekend. Meanwhile, uh, back uh, home, uh, we had a really nice day here in the Northeast, seeing just a few patchy clouds rolling in now. Uh, We've got some showers and thunderstorms going on in parts of the Southeast and down into Florida and also in parts of Louisiana. You can see on the radar, that's where most of the activity is today. Uh, But we go further north into the Northeast, a couple of isolated showers there in Vermont, and that's just about it. So we capped off uh, a very warm uh, and not too humid day. The humidity is going to be changing as we go through the weekend. Storm Prediction Center, marginal risk of severe weather tonight along the Carolina coast down to the Georgia coast. Also marginal to slight risk in the middle and upper Mississippi Valley. For tomorrow, uh, we're looking at Saturday into Sunday here, and you see a marginal risk from Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, over into Missouri, and then Sunday into Monday, the marginal Monday morning, marginal risk from western New York down into 
uh, Kentucky. Rainfall over the next uh, seven days. Now, this is mainly going to be from uh, this weather system that's going to be coming through Sunday night into Monday evening. Uh, there's a warm front that's going to go by and then a cold front to follow. There'll probably be some rain ahead of the uh, warm front and then some showers and thunderstorms possible with the cold front uh, later on in the day. Notice big rains in, in Texas, uh, back to Louisiana. Uh, some areas uh, of showing uh, seven inches or more of rain coming up uh, in the next week. Also quite bullish along coastal North Carolina down into North Florida and also continuing to see heavy rains uh, in the uh, southwest where the mount monsoon rains continue to rage. So tomorrow should be a decent day. Uh, we're not worried about any moisture coming up from the south. It passes well south and east. Uh, temperatures will be in the uh, upper mid-80s to maybe close to 90 in some of the hot spots. S sunshine, I don't even think that's worth putting in the chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. Now, on Sunday, the flow is going to turn more onshore-ish, and that's going to keep the temperatures down. Also, we'll probably have clouds arriving, and that's going to hold the temperatures down as well. Most highs, I think, will be, say, 80 to 85, and in areas where uh, most affected by the onshore flow along the immediate coast, uh, probably staying mostly in the 70s, there's rain coming in uh, during Sunday night, that's the warm front that goes by, and then we've got the cold front that'll come through with some showers and thunderstorms later in the day on Monday. And then after that, uh, Tuesday, we could see some scattered shower activity uh, with the front just offshore and an upper trough nearby. So that might help the cause as far as some rain is concerned. And then it looks like we should be mostly dry for the rest of next week. Uh, no other weather fronts coming until maybe next next weekend. So we'll keep our eyes on that. And, of course, we're going to be monitoring the tropics to see uh, what they're going to be doing uh, in the coming uh, days and weeks ahead. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at uh, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. So Joe and I are both on the mend, and we should be back Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, resuming the Joe and Joe Weather Show. We've both been sick at the same time this week. It was uncanny how the two of us seemed to be attached at the hip, but this is not the first time it's happened. Uh, but we'll be back on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so we hope to see you then.